I said I'd start by making the distinction between realistic Jesus figures and stylized Jesus figures. So let me just stress that. First thing to say is practically every image of Jesus is stylized. When we have a picture of a first century Jewish young man, then we might have a realistic picture of Jesus. But I think it's fair to say that he never looked like Robert Powell, that he never looked like Willem Dafoe. Mel Gibson wanted Jim Caviezel to look more like the real thing, and he actually digitally changed the colour of Jim Caviezel's eyes so they'd be less blue and they would be more brown. But by and large, what we think of as a realistic image of Jesus is really stylized. Now it's, it's just one of those cautions because I think a lot of people, when you're working with them, somehow or other, many of them imagine that is what Jesus looked like. So I suppose the sooner that we have a Middle Eastern film about Jesus, the better. It's that problem, how do you present, and somebody's going to remark it in the clip, how do you present someone who is fully human, fully divine? Because even when we say it, we can't say human divine at the same time. Human divine. You can put two words on top of each other, but then that blocks them out. So it's a challenge then to us and our faith. As we look at these images, how do we understand the humanity of Jesus? How do we understand the divinity of Jesus in the one person? I'll throw that challenge out to you right at the beginning, a question to keep in mind as we look at these succession of clips. Is he more human? Is he more divine? Does both humanity and divinity shine through? So can you see the religious questions? And if you're working in a class and with a group of people, even younger ones, and you can find the ways you can ask them these questions, I think it's something they can all respond to. Music